All right, Shalom. First off, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, to Yahweh, by Shem Rakaq I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And it's a sincere Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. Okay, um, title of this video is What Does keep your garments mean okay and it comes from the scriptures okay um i'm gonna get the scripture and um the book of uh, revelation okay uh revelation um 16 and uh 15 and it says, um, Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watches and keeps his garments. Okay? So, uh, my, um, yeah, it says, Blessed is he that keeps, I mean, watches and keeps his garments. Lest he walk naked and they see his same. Okay? Now, you know, Meditating on the scriptures, okay. Now, Yahweh Shah, okay, the one who the world inwardly calls Jesus, he said this, okay, in the Hebrew, okay. This was translated from the Hebrew into the Greek, and then it was translated from the Greek into the Hebrew. I mean, the um, the um, Old English, and into you know other languages. Now it's up to us to break down what the Lord meant when he said these things okay so that's why you gotta go into what the meaning of words are okay and um, meditate on different words go into the etymology okay the truth behind words okay to uh, get what is really being said now, when you're going to the word keep, okay, it means, okay, I'm going to just get the metaphor. It says to keep one in the state in which he is, okay, to be in the state that, that you are, okay. Now, uh... I looked up, you know, because I was meditating on uh, the scriptures, okay, and, um, you know, I was just sitting up there thinking, like, uh, we invested a lot, okay, into this truth, okay, if you're really into this truth, you invested a lot in, into this truth, now, I went to go, uh, you know, into the etymology of the word invest, right and the word invest okay which <clears throat> it means different than what you would have thought it was okay from the late 14th century it meant to cloth or clothe in the official robes of an office to clothe and cover or surround um and is into or n okay and then vest Okay, is to dress, clothe, okay, or to clothe or to dress, okay? It says, the meaning, use money to produce profit, first attested to 1610s, okay? So, uh, that's when it started uh, coming into being what, what people say, you know, uh, making money off of something, okay? Or using your money to make money, okay? It says, uh... That came in the 1610s, but before it meant, you know, to clothe, okay? Then, here here go, here go another um, saying, okay? It says, figurative sense of to clothe, meaning with attributes, okay? So, when Yahweh Shah said, keeps his garment, okay, in the, the state that you... That the Lord put you in when you came into this knowledge, okay? And 
basically the attributes that comes along with being in this knowledge okay so that's what what the lord means okay when he said uh to keep his garments now or keep your garments okay keep his garments okay to basically have the the attributes that comes along with being an israelite okay now i'm gonna get this scripture okay because it's it's all spiritual okay the book of uh job um uh, 29 is job 29 and uh 14. it says i put on righteousness and it clothed me my judgment was is a robe and a diadem okay a diadem is a is a crown okay and it says that um there was his judgment okay he wore judgment is a robe okay which is figurative it's a figurative uh sense man okay the bible is fulfilled with a lot of figurative language you know and that's one of the things that you know like i love you know i love uh figurative language man you know the, the different parables and idioms and stuff like that you know just going into those those uh different um you know uh figurative sp speech even even literal speech you know but um it says once again uh job 29 and uh 14 i put on righteousness and it clothed me my judgment was as a robe and a diadem okay using proper judgment okay and having the righteousness that the lord uh set up now one of the things when you come into this truth okay of what you're supposed to do okay is what is that uh first peter five and uh five it says likewise you younger right submit yourselves it says uh submit yourselves onto the elder now some people will come into this truth and they would just take this thing literally you know yeah you know when it comes down to someone who is your elder okay well in the world okay or in this truth you still respect them okay but when it comes down to a man that you come into this truth and let's say you've been in this truth you know you uh let's say 45 years old okay and you've been into this truth you know for a year okay you got a god that you know may be uh 38 years old okay but he's been in this truth for for 12 years you know 15 years okay you're basically considered the younger okay because you're the younger in the spirit okay and that 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 brother okay it may be your cat head or, or or whatever okay he may be over you in the spirit so it says submit yourselves onto the elder okay no matter how old you may think that that person is in um uh esau's uh technology or in real life you know but uh it says yeah all of you be subject one to another and be clothed or clothed with humility okay humility because we're brothers at the end of the day okay we're all brothers at the end of the day okay it says the the having this is what uh humility is the having a humble opinion of oneself and none of us are you know uh are important you know it says a deep sense of one's moral littleness okay modesty humbleness lowly of mind so that's something that we should clothe ourselves with okay that's an attribute that we should, should put on okay that's an attribute that we should put on not when when the lord said keep your garments he ain't talking about hey keep the garments like this garment you know when he comes back oh lord i got my garment i kept it fresh fresh and clean for you it's not what the scriptures is talking about you know um 
you know, that righteousness, okay, which a lot of people think that that righteousness comes by, uh, you know, the keeping of the laws, okay? Now, I'm going to get this scripture, okay? Uh, Romans 10 and uh, 1, it says, Brethren, my heart's desire, okay, and prayer to God, Yahweh, for Israel is that they might be saved. For I bear them record that they have a zeal of Yahweh by some Yahweh, okay? Because you got some people that come into this truth, right? And they, you know, they have a zeal for the Lord, right? It says, but not according to knowledge. Because certain people don't, don't understand what they actually supposed to be doing, okay? It says, for they being ignorant, which is not knowing, of God's righteousness, okay? And going about to establish their own righteousness, have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of God. Because when you come into this truth, it's a whole total different way of thinking, okay, than what you was normally used to in this world, okay? Now, you got people that come into this, this, this truth, and they think that it's about uh, keeping the laws, you know? It says, uh, for Yahweh Shai is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone that believes. Now, here go the thing. Do that mean that we're supposed to go out here and go eat pork? No, okay? Uh, we're supposed to establish the law, okay? But there are certain things that comes along with the law, okay? That or certain things in the scriptures, okay, that aren't in the law, okay? Like, for example, um, men and women being equal, you know? Are you going to see that in the scriptures? No, because, you know, it's, it's not of the law. We know, but we know through the spirit, like when the scriptures talk about, you know, if a, one, if a man and another man is striving and a woman comes out to, to you know, grab that other man, you know, by the uh, testicles, okay, that man is supposed to cut that woman's hand off and not, not uh, his eyes not supposed to uh, spare that woman or pity, pity her, okay? Um... Back in, in uh, the day, okay, the, 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 the fathers, which is going to come back again, the fathers, um, you know, went to go find uh, a, a man for their, their, uh, their daughter, okay? Um, or their daughter wasn't able to just give herself away, okay? Nowadays, are, are women uh, still under their father's care? No. A lot of these women be having children from other guys. So you can't sit up there and say that it's about the law. Okay? Because if you went according to the law, your woman probably would have got her hand cut off. Or, or, or a lot of us would have been dead. Okay? You're supposed to be stoning people and stuff like that. Okay? Homosexuals. Okay? So it's not about the law. Okay? And then you got the, the, the judgment. Okay? As far as what the scriptures say. You know, having proper judgment. Okay? Now, I'm going to continue on. Okay? Because I got a couple couple scriptures or whatever. You know, I ain't trying to have this all drawn out. You know, but, you know, certain precepts be linking up, you know, to where you can open up the understanding of what the rest of these scriptures are saying. Okay? This is, um... The point is in the 10th verse, which I'm going to read it right now. Isaiah 61 and uh, uh, 10. It says, I will re I will greatly rejoice in the Lord, Yahweh by Simeon Asai. My soul shall be joyful in my power, for he hath clothed me with garments of salvation. Okay? So when that RFID chip, which a lot of these camps don't teach that. Okay, a lot of people don't teach that the RFID is the uh, mark of the beast. Okay, but when that uh, that hour of temptation comes, okay, you're gonna have a lot of pe people out here that that you know are gonna you're gonna be questioning like, yo, you 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 said that you was an Israelite, like that, that's that's not how how an Israelite is supposed to be acting, you know. Going out there to go put your hand forth, you know, like a like a, a nigga in the streets would, man. 
You know, you we we looking at some guys right now that that you know, like yo, like why why are you doing those type of things, man? You trying to go to the hood? You know, like <laughs> those are the people we trying to get saved from. Why are you trying to go there? We trying to get saved from niggas. Why are you trying to go to the hood? <laughs> you know, it says <laughs> and, and, and somebody. <laughs> Somebody that's that's of the elect man gonna understand that they gonna come from out the hood and get want to get away from that shit, man. You know. It says uh, and one of the reasons why, man, why why we in the hood, you know, it's affordable living, you know, but we don't want to be in 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 this. I was just sitting up there thinking that today, man. You know, you get an apartment and your, your your apartment is all tight and closed in and stuff like that. You know, if you get a, a townhouse, you gotta hear the next door neighbors and stuff like that. You know, we not supposed to be living packed packed like sardines. You know, um, it says, um, for he have clothed me with a garment with the garments of salvation. He have covered me with the robe of righteousness. As a bridegroom decketh her, himself with ornaments, and as a bride adorns herself with her jewels, okay. It ain't no, it ain't no. Oh, let me go. Uh, let me go get the, you know, all of the stuff to try to make it seem like on the outside I'm this super Hebrew Israelite. You know, that's not where it's supposed to be, man. When when that when that when when shit get real. You know, applying the scriptures, okay, and and being what an Israelite is supposed to be, okay. Looking at the 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 story of Job when he was you know tested, okay, and how he kept the faith, okay. Um, want to go up a couple of verses, okay. Oh, I'm going to get the eighth verse. It says, for I, the Lord, love judgment. So the Lord loves judgment, proper judgment, right? It says, I hate robbery for burnt offering, and I will direct your work, their work in truth, and I will make an everlasting covenant with them, and their seed shall be known among the Gentiles and their offspring among the people. All that see them shall acknowledge them that they are the seed which the Lord have blessed. Okay, so everybody in the in the um the kingdom are going to know that this man, you know, they stood the the the, the test of time, man. Okay. Um. Continuing on. Okay. This is uh Matthew, the uh twenty second chapter. Okay, and uh. The uh, tenth verse, it says, "I'm um, get the ninth, ninth verse." It says, "Go ye therefore into the highways, and as many as you shall find, bid to the marriage." So those servants went out into the highways and gathered together all as many as they found, both good, bad, and good. And the wedding was furnished with guests. And when the king came in to see the guest, he saw there was a man which had not on a wedding garment. And he said unto him, friend, how comest thou in hither not having a wedding garment? And he was speechless. Then said the king to the servants, bind him hand and foot and cast them. I mean, and take him away and cast them. Into outer darkness, and there shall be weeping, weeping and gnashing of teeth. For many are called, but few are chosen. So they go to think. You go into this, this, this. You come into this knowledge, okay? Yeah, you got on. You got on the Hebrew. You got on the Hebrew Israelite garments or whatever. You know, you got the the board. The borders are blue and the fringes and stuff like that. But you acting like a nigga. You know. You acting like a nigga. 
you ain't you ain't you ain't you don't have the the the, the, the righteousness okay you don't have the attributes of because because you got people who, who go to weddings all the time and they you know they they probably just picking up on other women and stuff like that you know thinking this was was that um that song with uh outcast and uh uh bun b and pimp c you know that that video they they sitting up there trying to get all the girls up in the in the uh in the uh the the, the wedding you know you got guys that just come to the wedding and they you know they just want they just want the food and stuff like that you know not really appreciating you know the fact that you know that this truth is 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 precious you know yeah the uh international players anthem anthem hey you got guys that come into this truth and they um look at isaiah 4 and 1 you know oh i would get that that seven uh, that that uh uh seven seven women to one man i know seven mean completion you know maybe the lord gonna double that you know but the whole time, our mindset should not be on uh, uh, Isaiah 4 and 1, man. Our mindset should be on getting saved up out of here, man. Because if you get all the women, guess what? You still going to be in this fucking kingdom, y'all. These women ain't in their right mind. We should be having this mindset that we should want to get the fuck up out of here, man. Okay? Hey, I, yeah, I, 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 would, I would be amazed if Isaiah 4 and 1 happened to me. But guess what? If it doesn't happen to me and I end up getting saved, that's that's more special to me than, than that scripture ever happening, man. Okay? You know, and, and, and then when it happens, you going <laughs> you don't even know if that's gonna happen to you, man. You know? Guys think that 144,000 is just gonna have uh, every one of them gonna just have seven 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 women and you know you just gonna be in the kingdom without no problem. You know, we putting our lives on the line, man. You know? We putting our lives. We this is the investment, man. Okay? This is our investment. Okay? This is how we support the cloth ourselves, man. Okay? Um we get this revelation. Okay. Revelation three and five. He that overcomes the same shall be clothed. And white raiment, and I will not blot his name out of the book of life. Okay, but I will confess his name before my father and before his angels. So it says before his angels, man. Okay, is the Lord is going to say hey, this is this is this is a man of your how about some outside right here, man? Okay, because we all have angels uh, protecting us, man. Okay. And the Lord, I think he, it's a scriptures, man. It's a scripture. Okay. I'm going to try to get it. Uh, Psalms 91 and 11. For he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. Okay. Continuing on. I got I to gotta keep going on this. They shall bear you up in their hands. Lest you dash your feet against the stone. Okay? So if you got the right attributes of what a man of the Lord is supposed to be, okay? You ain't going you the angels ain't gonna allow you to get hurt, man. You gotta believe that. Okay, it says, You shall tread upon the lion and the adder, the young lion and the dragon shall you trample with your feet. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he has known my name. We supposed to confess that name. Okay? He shall call upon me and I will answer him. Calling upon the Lord all the time, man, every day. Okay? Praying without ceasing. Okay, it says, I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. So when we go through those troubles, man, our mindset's supposed to be on hey, the Lord is in control of everything, man. No matter what I gotta do, man, I'm going. I'm not gonna fall out, man. Okay, I'm not gonna go go put these garments up, you know, and go back into the world. And you can always tell when somebody from Great Millstone falls out, 
okay, and, and, and want to go back into the world. One of the first things to go is, is their hairline. You know, guys want to get them shape ups. You know, and then they want to start sitting up there going up against their, their elders and start trying to say that guys ain't right. You know, saying that the whole doctrine ain't right. You know, you can always tell when somebody is, you know, they, they try to change them garments, man. Okay. They don't they don't want them wedding garments, man. They wanna they wanna, you know, start, you know, turn making a t shirt into a to a tank top. You know? Cutting off uh cutting off the uh jeans and, and making shorts, man. You know, make it make it alterations. You know, the Lord wants you dressed in a certain way. Okay? You can't just go into the you can't go into Esau's job, man, and, and, and start dressing however you want to, man. So spiritually, you can't come into this truth and start doing whatever type of attributes you want, man. Okay? I can't just, just do whatever I want, you know? No, none of us can. Okay? But but in that in, in, in brother's minds and in, in Jake's spirit, okay, Jake just got a rebellious spirit that where they just want to go do their own thing. You know? They, they they want everybody to be uh, uh camp head. You know, nobody nobody wanna be everybody wanna be a chief, nobody wants to be an Indian. You know? You know that that's saying. Okay? Nobody wants to, to, to get an order. It says, I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Because we supposed to be praying and trusting in the Lord. Okay? And if you're praying and you're trusting in the Lord, man, okay, the scriptures say that you, your name is not going to get blotted out, okay? Your name is not going to get blotted out, you know? You ain't going to get taken out, okay? Washed, washed away, okay? It's, it, the word white, blot, okay, it means to obliterate, okay? Erase, wipe out, and that's getting destroyed, man. Okay. Um and it says and I will but I will confess his name before my father because the Lord knows you know brothers' names. Okay. This is this is you know a man of yours. Okay, it says and before his angels. Okay. You know, so the Lord has angels you know, sent to, to protect us. Okay. Revelation 3 and uh, 18. It says, uh, I counsel you to buy of me gold tried in the fire, that thou mayest be rich in white raiment, that thou mayest be clothed, and that your same, that the same of your nakedness, which is not knowing this truth, okay, do not appear. You know, putting on this, you know, these these basically because uh, we don't we don't know everything we do know the hundred percent truth you know we we there are certain things that you know we may be ignorant of but when it comes down to the the, the knowledge of what the Bible says you know we know that when we go through whatever the case may be that we supposed to trust in the Lord okay that's that's ultimately the 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 main thing okay that 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 the prophecies that your is gonna come back okay not uh uh you know because if you're going through the time of jacob's trouble and you don't got the mindset that the lord is coming back or you don't even know about the second coming right you're going to be sitting up there thinking you know what the heck man i gotta go out here and go do whatever the fuck i gotta do to make it you know, and you might be on that path to taking that chip. Okay, it says, and anoint your eyes with eye salve that thou mayest see. Okay, see what's going on. Isaiah 52 and 1. Awake, awake, put on thy strength, O Zion. And in your how about Samuel Sai is our strength. This word is our strength. It says, put on your beautiful garments. <clears throat> Okay, so being an Israelite is not based off of, you know, the physical or how, how a person may look on the outside. 
okay whether you got skin color or whatever the case may be because you got to also have proper judgment of knowing that the Israelites can look like different nations it says O Jerusalem the holy city for henceforth there shall no more come into you the uncircumcised and unclean why because all of our people in the kingdom are going to have the attributes of Israel of what they're supposed to be they're going to be taught the right way okay once this this captivity because our people are institutionalized okay the Lord have not shown himself onto these people okay and, and a lot of these people are, are, are speaking uh, presumptuously okay thinking that they they have the truth some people don't even care whether they have the truth or not okay you got Israelites in, 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 in that know what you know that the Israelites but don't even uh 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 they're they're not humble okay they can't achieve okay what what this word is actually saying okay but the 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 elect okay they they're going to get it okay and they're going to they're going to keep those attributes and they're going to be watching and they're going to be diligent okay until the end okay and 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 the main one of the, the a key part in the scripture in Revelation 16 it says, "Behold, I come as a thief." Okay, because we don't know when the Lord is going to come, but when He does come, we want to make sure that you know we 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 keep in that watch and that we 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 making sure that we're on point because that's that's what we hoping for. Okay, that that our you know our salvation is near, so we're doing those things that is is necessary for us to get saved up out of the, this this society okay even to be saved from ourselves okay so with that man you know i want to say solo warm